And in Lagos, uh, the state governor, Babajide Saolu, has presented a total budget of 1.692 trillion naira for the year 2023 to the State House of Assembly. This is 66 billion naira lesser than the 2022 budget, which stood at 1.758 trillion naira. The budget tax, the budget of continuity, is said would unlock a greater Lagos and consolidate the efforts of his administration in his first four years, according to Sawolu. Our correspondent, Lob Ikuku Oyedokun reports. The Speaker of the Lagos State House of Assembly, Mudashiru Obasa, arrives the chamber to the waiting team. This was followed closely by the arrival of Governor Babajide Sawunlu. <laughs> The arrival of the governor signifies the commencement of the day's business. Straight to the podium, Governor Sawunlu gives a breakdown of the budget. Capital expenditure takes 932 billion naira, representing 55% of the total budget. While the recurrent expenditure gobs 759 billion naira. Pleased to present to you the year 2022-2023 budget of continuity as proposed with a total budget size of 1 trillion 692 billion 670 million 753,894. This comprises of a total revenue of 1 billion, 1 trillion. 342 billion 670 million 649,640 and a deficit financing of 350 billion. This comprises a total internally generated revenue IGR of 1.1 trillion and total federal transfer of 250 billion. The governor calls for a new revenue sharing formula and a special status for Lagos. Lagos is too big for this country to allow it to fail. Lagos is too strategic for us not to see it, that the wholesome of Lagos is the wholesome of this country, that the benefit of Lagos transcends one, region, one part or one scope of this country. As a microzome of the entire country, Lagos State deserves all the support it can get at the national level. Receiving the appropriation bill, Speaker of the Lagos State House of Assembly, Mudashiru Obasa, list three major areas the budget must address. The year 2023 budget of Lagos State should have more human face, be targeted at reducing poverty and improving the welfare of the residents of the state as part of the team's agenda that guides this administration. We will also, as usual, continue to give needed support to you, our dear governor, as we all march ahead to solidify the achievement gained since 2019. Obasa also stresses the need for the federal government to approve the allocation of 1% special status for Lagos State. Lagos account for about 20% of the national gross domestic product and 10% of the nation population. This is not, however, to gloss over the impact of such massive movement of people to Lagos. The result is evident in the state's infrastructures that are persistently overstretched, thus requiring constant attention. This is the reason why we continue to agitate for allocation of 1% special status for Lagos State. Aside the budget presentation, the Speaker urges Nigerians to vote for all APC candidates at the state and the national levels, describing the presidential candidates of the party, Ashiwaju Bola Chinubu, as the only one with the capacity to make Nigeria great again. Love Ikuku Uyeduku, Plus TV News. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.